So alrighty, today what we are going to do is we are actually going to talk about the Ryobi propane heater. For some reason, I do not know why you can't find these now. Right now, these are very hard to find and they're selling like crazy. Like this is, people are treating this like the Ryobi Defender during the pandemic. People are buying these and selling them for like twice the price on whatever platform they're selling it on. So, so I do a video on this every year. I love this thing. There's a reason why I love it. So, all right, this is model number P3180. It is a hybrid forced air propane heater. Now I will say this, I do wish the fan inside that blows the heat out is a little bit more powerful. I do wish that. I would be more than happy. I'll be more than happy to use a, a couple more batteries for this to be for this to blow the heat out better. Right now you could use two things with this. You could use a one pound tank or a 20 pound tank. Now for the 20 pound tank, you will, you will need an adapter, a one pound male to a 20 pound female. I'll put this in the link in the description below. Uh, I got this at Home Depot. I think it was like 16 bucks. Uh, but yeah, I use a 20 pound tank with this. Now you, this is portable obviously cause it runs off battery. It's one plus. So you could actually bring this with the 20 pound tank or the one pound tank and you could just, uh, have it run for an hour or two. Uh, if you use the one pound tank. Now, the reason why I love this. All right. So this is 15,500 BTU per hour. And that is why I love this because this tank would last me roughly about 25 hours and if you used like yes other brands do make a higher btu and more powerful propane heater but i love this one because this one does the trick just right to where it makes it comfortable in here to be in it doesn't make it completely warm where you start taking off your jackets and hoodies you know because it's that hot in here this actually makes it perfectly warm in here for you to be able to work with conserving propane because if i use a different propane heater i would be running through i would be burning propane left and right so this propane tank actually lasts me about two weeks instead of you know like three days and so that's why i love it and sometimes it uh and in some months i stretch it out to a month because i don't have this running constantly i just get the temperature up a little bit then i turn this unit off and then I turn it back on as soon as it starts to get cold again. And so that's why I love this unit. This unit, uh, I forgot what the price was. I think I paid $89 for it. I do not need any other unit but this because this actually makes it nice and tolerable in here with conserving propane. And so this thing is awesome. I do not know why, like you could, you could find any other, uh, any other brands right now. I do not know why this one is hard to find. So the battery lasts, I'd say, about four hours, four or five hours for a four amp hour battery. Of course you can put a uh, six amp hour battery on there with the legs hitting the ground. But if you put a nine amp hour battery on, it will sit, it will, the unit will sit on the battery because it'll, it'll raise the legs just enough to where it's, the legs aren't on the ground. So, but you still could use a nine amp hour battery in here and it, it won't ruin the battery. So let's actually put that in there. Battery is full. this in there <clears throat> then all you got to do bring that back and all you got to do push the power button let that go let the igniter do that then you push the gas button just for a few seconds then you are good to go so it's pretty much that simple and this thing like this the ow the heat gets hot. So like it's a 15,500 BTU and it to like, a, I, I have a, this garage is extremely drafty. It's not sealed by any means. I have two windows in this garage and a garage door opener and that door. So this garage isn't sealed at all. And this keeps my garage tolerable to be in to, to do whatever I got to do. And so, yeah, that's why I love this thing because if I had any other, any of the other brands, I would blow through pr propane like nothing. And the last thing I want to do is spend two, three hundred dollars a month on propane. Instead, I spend fi uh, fifty to seventy-five, which is not bad. 
you know, especially during the months where it's not too bad outside, where I just keep this running for an hour, let it get warm in here, then I could uh, do what I got to do for a few hours, you know, and then put it, turn it on from another 30 minutes, then turn it off, you know, like it's preserved uh, propane. But if you did that with another brand, it would actually like, it'll burn through this like crazy, which is why I love this one. It's uh, it's perfect. I but I, the only thing I wish I, that, the only thing I wish that they uh, was better was the fan. So the he, like the you could feel the heat from there. But right here is where like the the blast of the heat stops because heat just rises. If the fan was a little bit more, it'll reach out to like about four feet. And so that's the only thing that I wish. Like it's it's most intense without her burning my hand. It's about right here. Any more than that, my hand would get too hot. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I just want to show you guys this. I do a video on this every. I do a video on this every year. That felt good, actually. Oh, and this you could, uh, and that's what I love. This you could touch. Inside, it's so hot. This can't even read it. But outside of this is 84 to 80 degrees. The the. The, the green heat shield is 84 degrees, so that's what I love about it. So like I said, it has a handle. You can put a 20 pound tank or a one pound tank, then you're good to go. Put the hose of this in the description. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you can find this video helpful and, and entertaining. If you were looking for this propane heater and how well it does, I love this thing. I've been using this for years and I'll, I'm gonna continue to use this and nothing's wrong with it besides the leg being a little broke, but that's my fault. I. I think it dropped from there or I dropped something on this. I, I forgot which one. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.